What is up awesome people and welcome back to my Pokemon trading card game online card opening series. Alrighty, so in the last episode I showed you guys another method of redeeming more booster packs or structure decks or any cool sleeves or booster boxes um, that, um, for the Pokemon trading card game online if you cannot get them in real life. So I actually went and got a, another booster deck from the daily login um, freebies. Um, I bought two five pack booster decks which I thought was five of them as a deal but it turns out to be only five cards in the booster pack. Threw me off but I got a Skarmory EX out of the X and Y booster deck. That was sweet. That was one of the best pulls from the last episode. And the other cool pull that we did was from Dragons Exalted from one of the decks that I got from a redemption code which was Terrican EX Full Art. So if you want to go check that out, um, check out the last episode and you'll see for yourself. Okay, so moving on to a, another opening. Again, we'll be moving back to Noble Victories. Um, there is a lot more coming for this. Um, we got a few free from a few redemption codes, plus a few extra when I was just debugging this program when it was acting up. So we've got 14 to open. So hopefully we can have, continue to have good luck with this booster deck. So let's open up our first one. And this time we've got Timber, Yan Mask, Golet, Yan Mask, an alternative art, Shelmet. Then we've got a Plume Fossil. Then we've got Swadloon, Fraxor, Palpatode, and Conkledur. And I thought for a second that was... It is a holo. Sweet. And Palpatode is a reverse holo. Okay, so the next deck. We are going to get... My God, my luck is so good tonight. Um, we got Perniad, Stunkfisk, Lavesta, Golet, Solus, Goethe, Archon. Then we got Heatmore, which is really cool. Um, I've been thinking about using Heatmore in a deck, actually. Runeclus, and we got another Full Art, which is awesome. Um, we got Victini Full Art. Sweetness, so I'm going to quickly duck over to the collection and we'll have a look at that straight away. So I'm not doing it right at the end and forgetting about it. So Noble Victories. And we want the V for Victini or Victory. So Victini Full Art, it's got 60 health, fire energy, it's a fire card, sorry. Um, its ability is Victory Star. Once during your turn, after you flip any coins for any attack, you may ignore all effects of these coin flips and begin flipping these those coins again. You can't use more than one Victory Star ability each turn, so that's really good if you get a really bad flip you can then go for it again and hope for a better flip than what you got the first time. And its move is Store Power, deals 30 damage, requires one Fire Energy card, one Energy card of any other type. Move all Energy cards, uh, move all Energy attached to this Pokemon to one of your banished Pokemon. So you can just have like a big stockpile of Energy cards on Victini and then move them to other Pokemon while dealing 30 damage to your opponent. That's pretty cool. Anyways, moving on to another booster deck, we get Elegum, we get Dino, Timber, Timepole, Shelmet, Garbodor, Torturga, then we get X Transceiver, then we get a Reverse Hollow Lampet, and a Lilligant. That's sweet. Next one, we are going to get, haha, oh boy, um, Solus, Patil, Liquid. Biz uh, Blitzel, Dwebble, X Transceiver again, Palpatode, N, Reverse Holo, Conqueror, so we got a Holo and Reverse Holo, so that's really cool. And another Holo, Holo Landris. No, not another. We don't have a Holo Landris now that I think about it. We had Reverse Holo, not a Holo. Sweet. We have a Holo and Reverse Holo as well, so that's really cool. If po cards that can be both Holo and Reverse Holo, if you get both of them, adds value to your collection, well, not money-wise, but just value as a collector's value-wise for those who collect cards, you probably know what I mean by that. Um, anyways, next one, we have Yan Mask, Pansia, uh, we have Fungus, Tynamo, Carablast, Dumpfisk, Cryogonal, Amoongus, then we have Vanillish, Reverse Holo, and a Drudgegon. Why are you not holo? Anyways, next one. We are going to get Pantsia, Stunfisk, Aksu, Litwick, Shelmet, 
Cryogonal, Amoongus, um, Electric, um, or oh, Electric, I think that's how you pronounce it, ignore my dyslex dyslexia if I did got it wrong. And then we got Reverse Holo um, Suaddle, and then another Holo Conkledur. So that's two Holo Conkledurs. Yum. I'm not really a fan of Conkledur. Um, right, next deck. We have Shelmet, Perniad, uh, then we have Pansia, Patil, Tanamo, Xtranziva, Amoonga, Super Rod, a Reverse Holo Elegum, who I think we've already got actually. And a Victini who is not hollow, which is a big pain in the rear side. Right, seven more to go. Next one. We have Minfu, Elegum, Yan Mask, Frillish, Yan Mask, Simiseer, Eli Drick, um, X Transceiver. Oh, uh, yeah, that's X Transceiver. Um, a reverse hollow Victini who can also be hollow at the same time. And another hollow Verizian as well. So as you can start seeing, um, all the news aren't popping up. So I'm getting a lot of duplicates now, which can happen when you start opening up a lot of the same booster deck. So it's kind of a curse when you're trying to get the, all of the collection. Oh, sweet, but a new one. Um, Timber, Lavesta, Tynamo, Trubish, Tynamo, again, alternative art. Zwellius, um, Swedloon. Then we got a... Actually, I think that's the Plume Fossil, then there's another one as well. Um, I don't know my fossils for 5th gen, because I didn't really play 5th gen all that much. Reverse Holo Cobalt which we did not have, so that's really cool. And a Seismitoad, who we've already got, but it's not hollow. Anyways, next one, we have um, Dino, then we have Perniad, Blitzel, Valonite, Time Pulse, Dumpfist, Torturga, Super Rod, and then we have Reverse Holo Victini, who we've already got as Holo, so um, sweet, we didn't actually have that one as well. And Haxorus, who was Holo, so we've got that already, so sweet, another one. Um, next, we have two newies in this one Trubish, Frillish, Minfu, Litwick, Timber, Stumpfisk, Ele. Oh, freak me! I'm getting all the ones that I can't pronounce. Um, Bishop, uh, Reverse Holo Leveny, and a Holo um, Jellicent. Pretty sure we picked up a normal one of Jellicent, but we finally got the Holo for it. Oh yeah! Right. So we got three left. Three chances to get some rarities. <laughs> uh, so we got Swaddle, then we got Shelmet, Dwebble, um, Yanmask, Levesta, Durant, Rocky Helmet, Sweet. Um, Bishop, then we've got Reverse Holo Simisi, don't have, cool. And looks like a Alternative Art Conkledur, which we did not have, so yes, we got a new card that we didn't have. Radio. so two more. We are going to get Ponyhead, Tim Timber, Carablast, Litwick, Dino, Super Rod, Everlight, god damn it, um, another fossil. Oh, cool, we got a Reverse Holo Cofferigus. I'm not too sure if we had Cofferigus already, but I know we don't have a Reverse Holo. Be worth a good look at that one, actually. And then we got a Torturga. Oh no, not Torturga, the Evolution, which is Caracosta. And we don't have that one, because that one's not Holo, so cool. Alright, last booster deck. We are going to get Minfu, we're going to get Tynamo, Aksu, Yan Mask, Fungus, Heatmore, Garbador, Vanillish, and then we got Reverse Holo um, Jellicent, who we did not have as Reverse Holo, we had it as a Holo... Normal card, before I make a mistake. And a Exalga, who is a Normal card. So, awesome. I can't really whinge about that opening, that was actually really good. Okay, so there was our Rarest pool. So we'll just go through and have a look. We've got a Vanillish, who is a Reverse Holo. And then we've got Terrican, we have Simisi, Reverse Holo, Swaddle, Reverse Holo, Reunculus, uh, that looked like Root Holo, and we had a Reverse, that was a Reverse Holo, I think. One of them was, anyway. That one, that's a Reverse Holo. Ha! My eyes are playing tricks on me. Um, there was also Lilligant. Leveny, who was Verse Holo. Landorus, who was Holo. We didn't have that. But we did have the re Reverse Holo Landorus. We had the Reverse Holo Lampet. 
and we had a Jellicent who we did not have, that was just a normal card, plus a Reverse Holo Jellicent, so that was really cool. We got a new card plus a Reverse Holo for it. We got Haxorus Holo who we already had, Reverse Holo Gerda, um, Gigalith, and then we had Excavia, and Electros, which was just a normal version. There's the holo version. And that just about wraps it up, I think. There's Concordur, the alternative artwork for it. There is the holo. There is the reverse holo. Cofferigus, I did not have you at all. That is really sweet that I picked up another unique Pokemon or unique card for the collection. Cobalone holo and reverse Holo Cobaloin as well, plus Caracosta, which we, we did not have to begin with either. So we picked up quite a lot of unique numbers as well for this collection, which is awesome. Um, that's what you should be aiming for every time you get a booster pack, is hopefully at least one new unique card for the collection. If you get a unique card, then it's all worthwhile in the end. But that is it for that collection, and that is... Oh, sorry, it's still going. There's Frisian. Victini, Reverse Holo Victini, Christ, we got a lot of cards, and that is the, the end of the collection. Now, one more thing before I actually wrap this all up. I actually stumbled across this just before I started recording. I actually found it really cool. Um, if you head into your profile for the trading card game, it'll actually show you the cards that you have drawn throughout the game itself. Total damage dealt. Now this is only in two days. 7,630 damage. That is actually quite measly for two days. Damage taken. 2,760 damage. Total games played. 22. Um, I have bugger all stats because I don't really play that much. But this is what I'm more um, interested in was the collection. It actually tells you how much you've completed overall in as far as the database for the program so I think it's just working from black and white onwards so I've collected 17% which is actually quite a lot for how many cards there is now um, right from the very first black and white decks to come out all the way up to six generations newest X and Y and I do believe there is another um, collection coming out in Japan very soon so we'll be adding another hundred to the collection uh, overall collection which is Wow, amazing. Um, so, different cards owned. I have 698 unique cards. So, that is actually quite a lot. And that equals 17%. Wow, um, that actually does make it quite measly. Um, but total cards owned, I own 1,650 cards. Set nearest to completion. Now, this I do like. The Black and White Energy series apparently is very close to finishing. Black and White Energy? Unless that's the very first deck that they're talking about. I'm actually not too familiar what that actually is. Anyways, um, the completed set so far is the um, structure deck that I got from a redemption card. The Zorak and Excal uh, Extra Drill set, which was just 30 cards in each. So they're both completed. Most of one card, Darkness Energy from Black and White Energy number one. I think I know where they're coming from actually for that one now. Hmm, that's got me pondering. And foil cards owned 141, so it even tells you how many foil cards you own, and god damn it, it is called foils, not reverse hollows. I was right. Um, looks like the terminology kind of changes <laughs> along the way, and it is foil. I'm kicking myself, I was saying foil, and then everyone said it was reverse hollow, and I'm gonna shut up because in the end everyone's right. Anyways, um, that's the end of this episode. Next episode, I am going to be doing something quite unique. Um, I'm going to call it a special episode in regards to card openings. Um, it may even lead into another series just branching off from card openings. Um, a lot of people have requested that I actually do a few games with a few decks. Um, just at this point in time, I don't have enough cards to do decent decks. I can have another look over in my spare time, see if there's any decent decks I can build. If I do, I might start doing PvP online, which would be really cool, um, in before I, I suck balls, um, which will probably will happen. But yeah, um, I'll definitely go into doing um, online matches, um, just using cards, but it will not be anytime soon. I'll probably be doing like test decks and all that in the meantime, but um, until I can open up more cards, which will be a definite, um, I'll start doing them when, like I said, I've got more cards. and. 
once I redeem all these codes that I've got sitting next to me, there is a huge possibility that will happen sometime soon. But anyways, um, that's it for this episode, and as I said, there'll be a special episode going up um, next. So look out, be on the lookout for that one, and then after that we'll head back to more card openings, and also in the meantime I'll be redeeming a lot of cards offline, and so we can just jump straight into the card openings and just focus on them for the entire episode. So until then, this is Lady Crimson saying ciao for now, but not forever. Ciao!